Hello everyone, Alex here. I am the Elite Soap Maker and Creative Director here at Urchin Alex. Today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with AI and we'll be using ChatGPT to design one of our soaps. So we alluded into the last video that we were going to be doing something a little bit more wild when it came to designing a soap, and what better than using ChatGPT to design a soap for us. So if you want to see all the parameters that we put into ChatGPT to get to our final design, make sure you stick around and we're going to get right into it. So to get started, we had to start feeding ChatGPT parameters, that way it can make educated decisions around what would be best for our brand. So we let ChatGPT know that we have this like funky, acid trip, psychedelic punk rock style that everyone has kind of come to know to love. And once we got that, we were able to ask it to pick a theme, colors, and design, and a name. So when we asked for the theme, we told it it was up to ChatGPT to select, and it selected Lavender and Lemon. I was excited about that. When we then asked, what should we do for colors, we got neon yellow, electric blue, and lavender. That sounds really cool. And then we asked it its design. Were we going to do a gradient? Were we going to do a layer? Some sort of a drop swirl? And we got a drop swirl. So we're doing a lavender lemon soap with a drop swirl and the colors of electric blue, neon yellow, and lavender. The best part about all of this is the name that it picked for us. So, we are excited to show everyone how we're going to make Cosmic Splash. When I got that name, once we went through all the parameters, I was so excited. So, Cosmic Splash is a blend of lavender and lemon. Think of it as like a lavender lemonade. Um, it's got funky psychedelic swirls of electric blue, neon yellow, and lavender. So if you want to watch us make Cosmic Splash, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so we are ready to start making this soap. So, first, foremost, you can see everything, like, in actual containers. We have a new setup. I have a new camera. I have a new lighting rig, a new just studio in general. So like over here on the right where I'm pointing towards, I have a monitor so I can see what I'm doing, making sure that all of you can see what I'm doing. We have like good actual lighting out here now and I'm unbelievably excited. So Cosmic Splash. We have our color palette over here, light water solution, oils here, fragrance here. We're gonna walk through this step by step. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take our light water solution and give it a little blend. So in here is a mixture of our light water solution, as I've said three times now. Um, but also it has some titanium dioxide and some um sodium lactate that way we can old mold from our um, mold over here a little bit easier so i'm going to give this a quick little blend all right everything is incorporated so i'm going to move our stick blender over to our oils and then we're going to dump these in So our oils today are a blend of olive, coconut, castor, and grapeseed. I'm gonna move this lye solution over to our lye area. I'm gonna give this a little pat down and bring to a blend. This will not take very much to bring together. We're working on about 70 ounces today of soap batter. So it'll come to emulsion rather quickly. 
So our color palette as selected by ChatGPT is a color palette of neon yellow, electric blue, and lavender. So I have that and then it told us it wanted a lavender and lemon uh, fragrance blend. So I'm adding that in now. I'm using lavender essential oil and lemon peel essential oil. And I got the calculations for how much oil we need from EO Calc. That is my go-to resource for making sure we're using the correct amount of essential oils in accordance to IFRA regulations. We're gonna grab our other containers real quick so we can keep this puppy moving. So essential oils like to move your batch along a lot quicker than some fragrance oils do. So I'm trying to be cognizant of that. All right, so we have our soap batter. We're going to split this off into three portions. There's number one. And then number two. So I put some titanium dioxide in here, even though we're doing neons and vivids today, um, just because I want a good palette for us to begin from. So we're using a lot of blues and purples. So the yellows of our batch oils um, might shift those a little bit. So we're doing a little bit of damage control. So in this cup, I have ultramarine, ultramarine blue, a little pow pow purple, and some Tahitian teal. So we get that nice, vivid electric blue. So it's got a lot more dimension to it than say just ultramarine blue by itself. Ooh, that's gonna be gorgeous. All right. And then in this container, this is a mixture of orchid mica, Lavender mica and pow pow purple for our lavender. And then in our last mixture, which is our yellow, I have some yellow mica with like a touch of Tahitian teal, just to kind of give us more of that like yellow shifting into green, more of that neon than just a true yellow. All right, so I'm gonna hand mix this yellow. It's going to look a little mustardy just until it goes through saponification. So we're good with that one. I'm gonna give this blue a mix just to see where we're starting with actually that's gorgeous i was thinking i was going to need the stick blender again i was mistaken and then our lavender So this is the one that I'm the most worried about, uh, just because purples with a yellow soap batter um, tend to shift more gray just because they're complementary colors. But we're looking really good so far. All right, so I'm going to clear the deck and we'll be right back to pour. Okay, and we are back and ready to start pouring. We're at a really good trace right now. I was kind of worried that we'd be a little bit either too like close to um, like a heavy trace um, 
or this blend would really slow things down and we'd be at a much lighter trace just because I really don't want this purple, this lavender and the yellow to model because then it'll just kind of look gross. So what I'm gonna do, start by pouring this blue just right down the center. Hopefully get a few passes of each color. Then we're gonna go in with this yellow few passes of that. That is like a perfect yellow. I think this is the first yellow that I've like made that I don't hate. All right, so we got our purple in there. Go back for some more blue. So I was like really kind of happy working with ChatGPT as it was recommending which colors to use. And I think this is a really cool and unique color story first and foremost. I wouldn't have thought of this. And I think it just goes to show that like sometimes looking outside of your typical places of inspiration is not always a bad thing. Because we would definitely not have had this soap if that was the case. All right, I'm gonna scrape out this blue now. Of which I was kind of worried about this blue too. Usually blues will start to shift gray as well. Um, I think it's because of the ferric oxide and how it reacts in a caustic solution. So we're done with the blue. Okay. Now we're gonna Scrape out this yellow. That is like the perfect neon yellow. And then what I'm gonna do is Tap this down. Because I wanna put this purple on top and hopefully it not muddy. So I'm gonna start like just kind of swirling this blue and yellow together. just to kind of break up some of that yellow. And now I'm going to go in with this purple, this lavender. And I'm going to give it like a stripe down the middle, I think. All right. All right, so another couple pats down. I'm gonna wipe off our chopstick. Let's start to swirl this purple in a little bit. All right, so our SD card filled up uh, right as I was doing that last swirl. So where we left off is that I added the purple on and then we swirled everything together. Um, I've given it a spritz with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to punch you all in. Um, that way you can have a little bit of a closer look. And then we'll be back in 18 to 24 hours to unmold this 
and we'll cut off a little piece so we can begin curing and we'll get this ready to go to our friends over at Less Is More. Alrighty, so we are back about 40 hours later and it's time to unmold Cosmic Swirl or Cosmic Splash, my apologies. So we're going to pop it out of the mold and it looks like it's going to come out beautifully. Let's see if that's the case. Yep. Alrighty. Set it down. Alrighty, so right off the bat, you can see the beautiful top. The lavender smells incredible. On the side, you can see kind of some of the swirl. Not a whole lot on the ends, but you can see it on the bottom, so that lets us know that it did penetrate through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a little bit off of each end. That way this can start to cure a little bit quicker. And so I can show everyone the cut, and what the middle of this bar looks like. So, <laughs> it looks so cool. What do we think of that? So you see the yellow and the purple, the splash of the blue in there. I think it turned out really cool. Bring it up a little bit closer. See, I love that. And here is the other end piece. I've historically had a hard time with like blues, especially with like blues not incorporating. This one incorporated really well. You have that nice like neon punchy yellow. The lavender is like perfect. You have like the touch and the splash of that without it being like too different. That's the inside of the bar on that side and this side. So yeah, that is Cosmic Swirl. All right, so that was the creation of Cosmic Splash. I am super excited and happy with how it turned out. Um, the swirls are going to be absolutely incredible as you start cutting through the bar or the loaf. Um, we're going to have this soap at Less Is More here in Lawrence. So if you want to try out a soap that was designed by AI and designed by ChatGPT, make sure you head over to Less Is More and cut you off a slice of that bar. Um, we hope everybody enjoyed this video. Until next time, stay happy, stay healthy, and toodles.